Audi TT Mark 1, Southend Car Meet. So guys, welcome to Southend tonight. If you uh, look carefully, you will see the pier down there. But we are currently looking over a lot of great TTs here tonight. So this is the South End meet, organised by Jeff. A real mix of TTs on show this evening. They are mainly 3.2s, which is unusual, but the meet had been advertised in the 3.2 Facebook group. So I guess not really that surprising. Even more unusual was the number of baseball stitch interiors on display, including a black baseball stitch interior, which I had personally never seen before. As always, there is a mixture of modified and standard cars on display, with some rarer colours also making an appearance, such as this Aviator Grey 3.2, and of course, not forgetting Jeff's fabulous 3.2 in Imola Yellow. The hot weather has also tempted a couple of roadsters out for a run this evening, with one travelling over two hours to get here. It's a really friendly meet, and everyone is more than happy to talk TTs, Plus, there are a couple of parts guys in attendance if you ever need to pick up some bits for your car. The road noise was pretty loud on the GoPro, so I will leave the majority of that out, but this particular 3.2 owned by Mike was a great example and finished in cosmic blue. However, the car was originally light metallic silver, as evidenced in the door openings. This car has been wrapped professionally. At £1,500, it is a cheaper alternative to a full respray. It looks great, and you can peel it off later if you change your mind and want the factory colour back. Mike has also upgraded the LCD display to full colour. This gives lots more display options, including fault code reading and even clearing the codes. Now, this is a very familiar car to the channel, so we won't stop here too long. The only Mark II in attendance tonight was this petrol blue roadster. It looked in great shape, but the owner said it needed some work doing on the roof. So if we walk just down here, here is a Mark I, this is a 225, 2001 edition. It's got the V6 rear diffuser, standard rear spoiler, and the standard 225 wheels. Interesting what this is. If anyone knows what that is, is that where the tow eye goes? I'm not sure what that's all about. That's very unusual. My inquisitive nature got the better of me, so I asked the owner what the plug was for, and I was surprised by the answer. And this is actually classed as I think it classed as a dual fuel car. So this here is for LPG. I've never seen an LPG 225. So uh, that's got to be a first. This young man here is the owner. His name is Don. Don, nice to meet you, Don. We've... Is it completely standard other than the fact it takes dual fuel? Yep. Nothing else changed, no? no? The striking feature on this car is definitely that LPG feature. I love the way they've actually colour-coded the LPG hull. So have you taken that off? Can you open that? Yeah. Can I do that? Yeah. There you go, look at that. And there's me thinking it was a towing eye. I'm going to put that back on and it's fully connected so if you wanted to use that for LPG you could do it. Yeah. You look in the boot, let's have a look at this. <laughs> oh look, there's no boot space whatsoever because I imagine it's all taken up with a gas tank. The spare wheel? Where is the spare wheel? There's a spare wheel too. No, there's no spare wheel. No spare wheel, just, just a, a gas, gas tank. tank. <laughs> look at that, that's the first time I've seen one of those. Well, thanks for that, Don. You've, uh, you've opened my eyes. <laughs> what else we got? Lots of cars. Lots of cars going around here tonight. Lots of different cars. This is just like... It's like turning the clock back about 30 years to my youth. It really is coming to the south end. Lovely 3.2 in the road here. This reminded me a lot of Dom's car I saw it with the black Romans. I think he had those on originally. Might be wrong. So, Dom, if I'm wrong there, please do tell me and tell me off. But again, this is a great condition car. The red, no lack of peel. It was good. Yeah, lovely looking car. A common theme we're getting tonight around all these cars is there must be three or four of them at least with baseball stitch interior. So this is one, it's got a black baseball stitch interior. On to this next one. Baseball, baseball stitch interior. Baseball stitch interior. What helps you? Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> take the coffee over. And this is, Ben, is this your car? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. So 
So yours is a 225, if I remember rightly, under the bonnet, yeah? yeah. We don't know that much about with V6s. No, no, no. You, you need all that turbo power. Yeah. Lovely car. It's got special so, look at that. Actually. Have you seen this bit? Aerodynamics. Yeah, look. Special intake, yeah. yeah special, special intake. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, look at that. Look at that. Go faster stripes. That's, that's class. That's, that gives you an extra five mile an hour. Yeah, exactly. Stripe. Yeah. It's like having red calipers. That makes yeah, it a bit. It's good for when you're turning left on left hand circle. I see that. Jeff, fabulous yellow car now. Oh, really? I think this is Emily Yellow. And if you've seen this car on my Simply Audi video, it's one of the finest paint jobs I've seen on the end of the Great condition. I think now we're back to Ben's 225 Roadster. Ben's got some baseball stitch interior here, like most of the cars here tonight. And interestingly, he was just telling me that he's had some trouble with the roof. The back window's come unstuck and he's watched my video on that, so good to know that I'm helping people. So guys, if you ever have any video ideas you want me to do, please do put them in the comments. Happy to cover it. Looks a great condition car. This is lovely and clean, is Is it just me or has everyone got baseball interior here tonight? Because I, I feel left out. It's common, isn't it? Who wants it? Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Although I've never seen a black one Black one. Stay in the one. Do you know what? I said that on the video already. That's the first black baseball stitch no, interior I've seen. You can, yeah. you know you can get blue and um, red baseball. Can you? Well. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've only it. seen the tan in person and I've never seen this many in person. Now with a black car obviously it's hard to keep it nice and shiny but this is doing a great job whether he's been busy tonight polishing and buffing it up I imagine he has. Again with the baseball stitch interior. You bought your seats I guess separate have you? You've had those yeah. separate yeah. and the door cards came door with that cards, and the steering wheel. Yeah. I've got a gear knob. Oh, okay. I had to go elsewhere. He didn't, Jason didn't have the seat belts. Uh, sorry, Adam didn't have the seat belts or the, oh, the, or the lead pads or the, or the gear sticks. Oh, I didn't even elsewhere. notice those. Look wow. at those seat belts. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, so it's better in now. But it had a grey interior before, so I had to sort of yeah. lower the hatch. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. I heard you pull up a minute ago. I knew it was a 3.2. <laughs> Sorry, your name is? My name's Bob. Bob, and how long have you had the car, Bob? Uh, I got it in 2010, so I've had it 11 years. Wow, it's in great condition. <laughs> oh, another one's just turned up. So yours is a 3.2. Any modifications to the computer standard? It's radio in it, otherwise it's standard. Yeah. And I'll just try so, and keep it. So right. And the colour, is that Ava Silver? Is Ava it? Silver. I was going to say, it's got 60, a slight... 61,000. Fabulous, nice and low as well. So it's not it's not your daily driver? Oh, no, no, no. No, it's so... Weekend, uh, weekend, weekend toy. toy. Yeah. The best way to keep them. It's a new Ferrari going past. And then we're back to Jeff's car again. So I've covered Jeff's car at Simply Audi. Fabulous looking car. Fabulous looking car. If we walk all the way back down here, I reckon we can walk all the way back down this way. Two new arrivals. Adam and Jason, I believe, are here, so. Great cars, can you talk me through your cars? Yeah. yeah. So Adam, you are a 225 guy, or a 1.8 guy by trade, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this is a V6 now. This is a V6, I see one that. It's a 180. One, okay. And there's not an awful lot of uh, clearance under there with the spats as well. Yeah, back bumper on it. All resprayed, or has it been wrapped? Original paint. Original paint, wow, so aviated grey. Aviated grey, yeah. Right, yeah. Well, obviously you've got a, an alternative spoiler on there. The Votex spoiler. That's the Votex. So you've got the, not the full Votex kit though, because obviously no. that's a different back bumper as well, isn't it? Yeah. What yeah. have got going on here now? This is something I've not seen before. The black baseball stitch interior. Black baseball. So I've never seen one of those before. So is this a very, very limited edition? Thanks, thanks for that. That's what I need as I'm filming. Matching back seat as well. Yeah, it's the coupe version, so it's got back seats. Fabulous. So, did that was that in the car when you got it, or have you had that uh, fitted? Because I know you guys specialise in uh, yeah, no, baseball I bought, sticks. Yeah, car with that in and fab. That, I've never seen that. You've got the the armrest as well. Fabulous. That is a really unusual uh, carbon fibre mirrors. Carbon fibre covers. Let's have a look under. Now, are you going to show me some magic under here? Some magic. And what we got under here? Oh, some blingy bits there, look at that. Wowzers. Very blingy. Oh, struck close. Another rear part. This one here, yeah? Yeah. Look at that. I guess that's not a factory colour, or is that who you <laughs> made that? 
No, I had that. Powder coated smack subframes like that as well. Can see, can see, see, see it. I can, ju I can just about see it. Whether the camera's picking it up, I'm not sure. Wow. Got a rear one to go on it as well at some point. Wow. Serious. And it's obviously lowered. How much is it lowered by? Uh, it's from quite a lowered. So I can't okay. how much it's lowered yeah. by, but quite a, a bit. A bit, yeah. Much rubbing on those wheel no, just about gets away. Right? Does it? Yeah, I say it's very close. I can see that on those backs, yeah. It's got the wider front wings as well. Yes, I always Oh, I see that, yeah, yeah. Do you have a standard on the car as well, or you think no, those? Yeah, uh, aftermarket from Germany. Oh, yeah, I see that now. I can, I can see that. Glass. Yeah. Fine. Look at that. That's a great car. Well, Thank thanks you. Adam for that. Thank you. Now on to Mr. Casey's car. Look at this. Red interior, red exterior, black Ronalds. He's staying well out the way, I noticed. He's staying well out the way. He don't like all this stuff. He don't like all this fame and fortune. He likes the fortune, not the fame. Give me your one word, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful car. It's a lovely car. I think I need some glasses on for this bit as it's the end of the evening for me. I'm about to head off. Look at all these great Mark 1s behind me. It's been a really interesting night to come back to South End and see it in all its glory with all the Mark 1s on show. So thanks again for watching. See you soon. Take care.